What's up, Granos and Granettes? Juan Granos, back again, this time with another review. So today we're going to be talking about um, a little, I want to say gadget for your home. Um, it could be your home, it could be your backyard, it could be, uh, you know, your game room, your uh, movie room, wherever you have. So um, I have uh, done uh, reviews for this company in the past and their products are superb. They just sent me the new version of their um, small projector. Now th this project, I'm calling it small only because it's so portable and you can pretty much take it anywhere. Um, this is the Vankill um, Leisure. 430. Um, I believe I did a, 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 another version a couple of months ago um, and this is just so, sort of like an upgrade to that version. Now I wanted to do a quick review because I love the products these guys have. I love how they look. I love, I love how, far, um, how sharp the images look. But you know what? Don't take my word for it. We're going to do a little test. I'm going to try to put it in my backyard today. I have a screen that I put up. I'm going to put it up there and I'm going to try to do a little video again. Um, you know, Mike, I don't have the best cameras. You know, the only way this camera works the way it works is because I got this beautiful light over here. But um, I don't have a camera that I could use outside to record what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. See what I can do. I think I have a fire stick somewhere around here. I got it on sale on... Um, Fire Day, whatever the hell it's called, Amazon Day. Um, so I'm gonna plug that in just to show you guys what it looks like. Um, but let's just go into the unboxing. So, um, what I, like I said, what I really love about this company is all their products are the quality is really, really good. Now, again, my favorite part is the portability. Look at this. It comes in this beautiful little bag. It comes in this beautiful little bag that you can pretty much take anywhere with you. I mean. Everything you need is in here, you know, obviously, other than the stuff you got to plug into it. Um, like, you know, I'm actually going to, for, for this test here on my desk, I'm going to plug in my phone. And for outside, I think I'm going to plug in a fire stick. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here when I go outside. When I go outside, you find out. Anyway, so let's continue the unboxing here. So this is the Leisure 430. Um, you do have uh, instructions. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So I, just, I can't wait. Wow. So this unit looks... A lot more modern than the other one it's they, they gave it like a little more round shape the other one is more like a little square kind of unit and this one is more round let me just take all these stickers off oh wow I love how it looks I mean this you could have it in your living room you know you could just put this in your living room um, and it will match everything that you have on there um, let me just take all these stickers off and just go over some of the things that we we got here and is that it that's all the stickers yep so here's the unit very simple very cool Again, I love the way the unit looks. It looks very chic, very stylish. Um, let's go over some of the, of the buttons and some of the features of the unit um, before we go outside to test it. Actually, I'm gonna plug it in here too, but I'm gonna plug it in outside too. I don't know yet, I'll see what happens, you know, whatever happens in this video. So you got your headphones set right here. You can plug in your headphones. Let me make sure I got the right camera. Yep, okay, headphones right here. You got your AV um, plug right here, which you can connect this to uh, your stereo system, um, to a TV, uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's AV in, not AV out, okay? Um, uh, uh, you got your USB, so you can plug in a USB, and if you have movies on your USB, you can play them right off the unit. Uh, and you got your SD card right up there. And the best part is you got your HDMI plug right here for 1080, 1080p full digital um, HD video. So you get 1080 actual um, uh, video on this. And you got your VGA port so you can connect, I guess, your computer or what have you. Um, so in the back, before I forget, because I forgot this on the other one, is you got your, um, your remote uh, control little... Um, sensor right here so you could be you know you could have this pointing forward and you'd be controlling it from the back and of course you have the one in the front which is actually pretty cool um okay on the top we got a couple of buttons here and you got your power button um you got your menu button you got your uh switch button to switch between um you know uh the different the different ports that you have on here and you got your return button this is a multi-directional button right up here. Oh, I think I have it upside down. Okay, yeah. This is a multi-directional button up here that you could use to move around in the menu um, uh, screen. So, pretty cool. Now, another thing that I know a lot of people online were asking about when I went to the Amazon page was, my image is blurry. My image doesn't look sharp. It's really simple. You got your... Oops. Oh, okay, you got your cover. I just popped it off. <laughs> um, you got your... your um, a focus button right here and you could do it manually now mind you 
this does do it on its own. It does have an automatic focus, but if for whatever reason it doesn't look on focus, you could play. Uh, you could use this button right here, and you can put it in focus. You can force it on focus. Um, sometimes it doesn't know quite read a warp. It's got a little crease or something. You know, it won't work. And you got your keystone button right here, which is basically the button. So let's say you you were on a screen right here. Like if you're if you're facing a wall, and you want to put your wall is right here, and you want to put your unit here right there's no way for you to put that unit right here without being in your way right that's where the keystone comes in you lower down the unit and then you could switch on the keystone key or i should say knob and you could basically change the the the, the angle so it will be straight on the screen so when you do it it will flip over again i'm going to try to do that on screen in this review and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to plug everything in to show you guys how this works and of course up here we do have our manuals everything that, that you need to get started um, I mean this is pretty for me it's pretty straightforward everything you need is on here but I already know how the unit works I have a similar unit um, this one looks a lot nicer so let's plug this in and I'm gonna show you back in this blue wall so you can see how it looks but then I'm gonna go outside and put it on a on a white screen and then I'm gonna give you my my final thought about the unit okay Okay, so I got the unit plugged in now. Um, let me just switch the camera over here. So I got the wire plugged in. And of course, like I, guys, like I told you before, this little peg over here so you could go up and down so you can make it higher and lower if you put this on a table, what have you. It does have um, four little legs on here, so little rubber feet so it doesn't slide off a table. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention is this is hi-fi. Um, stereo sound so it has speakers which is very rare um, on projectors most professional projectors do not have speakers you have to plug external speakers to it but this particular unit does have two speakers on here which are stereo speaker and the the um i should say the lamp on it has up over fifty thousand um light um hours of, of of usage so um let's go ahead and just turn this bad boy on now what i'm gonna do um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug my phone in. I got my phone right here, um, and we're gonna do this. Hopefully, this works. I mean, you know, sometimes stuff doesn't work the way it's supposed to work. So let's switch the cameras and let's move this. Let me move myself over, and I got my trusty little remote here. Let's hit the on button here, and what I should do is probably I should turn down this light. Uh, let's see so I just turned it on let me turn off the light and it's going to attempt to um, focus itself so my wall I guess because it's, it's not white it doesn't it doesn't really like it so here let's focus it ourselves and guys I'm gonna tell you right off the bat I mean I don't know if the cameras I hate because what I see here is not what you guys see on the camera but this looks super duper sharp so i'm going to go ahead and go through some of these um uh settings here just for giggles <laughs> uh, for shits and giggles um let me just press the menu button on here and you got again you got your your picture mode standard um sorry standard um you could change it to what you like on your screen like you know if you like a high contrast bright you could do that on here um, the next thing we have is, let me just go down, temperature, you can change the temperature, you can change the aspect ratio, noise reduction, these are all very technical stuff that you could change on your own if you want to, um, you don't have to any, do any other stuff. Um, and okay, so you also have a rear projection, so you could actually project this screen from the back so if you have a screen that you put up and you want to put this to project from the back you can so what it does is once you do that um, it'll flip the screen it'll flip the screen so everything that it shows it shows it backwards so when you project it onto something it will be on the right all right so I'm gonna go ahead and go into my YouTube channel here and there it is and of course the way the iPhone works you have to flip it sideways in order for you to get anything out of it so I'm just gonna play my last video on here now, the sound on this, it is pretty loud. Hold on, let me try to pump it up all the way here. As always, when a manufacturer or retailer sends me an item for me to review, I gotta let you guys know, 
This is a sponsor review. However, as always, my opinion is of my own. It's not what they're telling me to say or what telling me to and do. This is an analysis. Image is super duper sharp. Now, I love it. There's been a real big buzz around these headphones. Now, now right now, I think they're what I'm gonna do is what I'm gonna do is so. What I'm gonna do now, actually, is I'm gonna oh, so you can still see the screen back there. Not bad, even though I turned on this light, it's pretty bright, and that's not even a white wall. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and plug this in outside. I'm gonna have a, a white screen. I'm gonna uh, see how far I could project it to see, um, you know, what's the distance and how how good it looks, and um, I'm gonna try to see if I record it. Uh, I guess with my phone. So I have a little Amazon stick somewhere on here. I'm gonna plug it in and I'm gonna use that to test it and we'll see what, how it comes okay, out. Okay guys, so here I am in my backyard and I set up this screen over here. Um, I think is about eight by four, I wanna say, something like that. Um, I set up the projector about maybe 10 feet away. So uh, just so you guys get a pretty, you know, idea of, you know, what it's going to look like. So now I'm going to go ahead, flip the camera around. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And I would imagine it looks good. Now, I did connect the, um, the Amazon stick to it. Um, I, I, I don't know if I set up any channels on it, but we're just going to try it out. What the hell? We're just going to do it on the fly. So here we okay, go. So there's the unit. Um, unfortunately, I do have a sensor light that... Um, Anytime I move around my backyard, it's gonna turn on. It stays on for about 30 or a minute or so. I'm gonna try and move nice and slow. Hopefully it won't catch me. I'm gonna go ahead and press the power button on here. And there's the Alexa. The Alexa, I should say the Amazon Fire Stick is plugged in. I'm gonna go ahead and press the power button. Just let's see what it looks like over there. And you know, the screen is not perfectly placed, but um, there it is. So, oh, oh camera focus there it is so um it looks pretty good i mean that's what it is and there is alexa there she is and we're just going to go ahead and um get a i don't know what can we get here i don't even know what camera i play without getting any hits on my uh channel over here uh, um now i don't know why my phone is not really focusing very well oh there it is that's better um but i have to tell you this looks amazing. The image quality is really, really good. Um, I don't know how good my internet it is out here. We're gonna, we're about to find out. Um, again, I'm have to go very slow in order to make sure that my light doesn't catch my movements. And let's uh, pump up the sound on here. And I already could tell you that my internet sucks out here. Because look, it's all pixelated. Um, but it looks amazing. And the sound sounds really good as well. I'm going to try to pause it. Maybe try to pause it and let it load a little bit. Um, and see what happens. See what happens if it looks any better. Because um, unfortunately my internet is not as good out here and it looks really pixelated it doesn't look as good as it should um it's not only about sports hold on listen let me let's um let's try to find something else here let's just try to find something else so here it is here's the knight's tail and 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 check out check out this image there it looks really really nice I have to walk slow, I have to walk slow. And I have to say the sound of the unit is actually pretty good. Um, HD 1080p. Very cool. Look look how sharp that looks. I'm trying to get as close as I can without having my light turn on. Very cool, very cool. And again, pixelated because my Wi-Fi sucks out here. But other than that, the unit looks great. I think so anyways I'm gonna try to step back over here see how far I could get to show you guys how is I have it set up and there it is so if you want to be in your backyard watching a movie sounds pretty good looks pretty good hey it's a buy for me so from what you guys can see, the unit works the way it's supposed to work. I, I tested outside, the image is sharp, 
the sound is is okay it could be louder but you know if it's a personal projector it's not a a theater projector it's for a backyard it's perfect sound for that um so the the the, the vaco Vank, Vank, Vankio um, 430. Um, it's got 50,000 of um, LED lamp. It's got a 3600 lux lamp lens, or I should say lamp in the lens. Um, 1080p. Basically, you could plug in anything to this. I plugged in a, a, a fire stick, but it, as long as it has an HDMI, you could plug it in here. As well, if you have a USB um, card with, with um, movies on there, what have you, you could plug it in here as well. Um, and of course, if you are a person that needs it to connect it to your laptop, you got your VGA port here. Most laptops now have HDMI anyway. So, guys, let me know what you think of the Vanco, Vanco, Vankio 430. Um, beautiful personal, I, I want to call it a personal projector. You can take it wherever you want. So, uh, camping, you want to plug in your Xbox, you want to plug in your PS3, you want to plug in your iPhone, you can plug anything to this, this little unit. Um, and what I really love about it is it's very portable. You know, you could take this anywhere. A little bag, everything that you need is included in the bag. Um, if I have a coupon code, I'm going to leave it in the description. Um, I do think that these these are selling for 100 bucks, which is super cheap now, you know, for a 1080p projector. I mean... Who needs this? Everybody needs this. Summertime is not over yet. You still got another month and a half because there'll be an Indian summer since the glaciers are, are melting. <laughs> um, guys, thanks for watching. You've been watching LG TV. I am Juan Granos. You can find me on Instagram, Los Granos. You can find me on Facebook, Los Granos. You can find me on Twitter, Los Granos. You can find me on YouTube, Los Granos. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and share. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.